Later tonight, Pike captures a German prisoner in Dad's army. But first, we have the Thames men. We're on. That, George. So I just gave me tea. Just gave me tea. Hello. No. Ta-da. Ta-da. Sorry. Sorry. It's like working. It's working. It's, it's wor- working with unprofessional people like you just makes my job a lot harder, you know? <laughs> it's never a dull day <laughs> around here, you know? <sighs> How are we? Yeah, good, good. It is. It's, uh, it's, we don't normally do these. Th- this is an afternoon recording. We normally yeah. do an evening recording. Yeah, but exactly. it's absolutely right. tipping out rain here now nah, well, hey i'm george i'm in los angeles and it's not tipping it with rain uh but i'm just uh shut inside doing this so it's lovely i'm alex and it is tipping with rain and i'm in northern california and we it's like we've been in a drought for 10 years and now everyone's got the arc um uh, kind of you know <laughs> schematics out because it's been <laughs> raining for like every day for the last month there was talk about like there was apparently some like scenario planning like some ten years ago which we've just updated, which is talking about and it's like a, it's like a thousand year event which isn't what's happening now but it, it, they say it's the potential of where these atmospheric rivers that are hitting San Francisco right now they would just keep coming and they would flood the whole of the inland valley and the whole of Sacramento and you'd end up with this huge lake and billions of dollars worth of damage so you might be on the way for that you might need your ark. That's not bad. Sacramento. <laughs> Sacramento is quite nice. No, it's okay. It's no disrespect to Sacramento, but it's a shite hole. <laughs> <laughs> Don't think those two things go together. You can't say no disrespect and you're a shithole. I it's, like Sacramento. Do you? It's, it's so British. It's Have like, you been you know, there? Uh, no, I drive past it. I well, that some, doesn't count. I, I go around it when I go to Tahoe. It, 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 it oh, we're off to keep skiing, man. Oh, so it's so nice that I it lives an hour away, and I go there all the time, two hours away. I've never been there. I've lived here. It's 10, actually got a. 20. It's got a really nice old town downtown. Uh, like it's got a historic center, and it's kind of cool. It's got a big like big river there, and it's like lots of waterways, and it's kind of cool. It's got some cool stuff. It's all right. You know? well, it's going to go now. Places. It's going to go now. It's it's a, it's it's where the. Uh, it's where the government sits of California. It's the capital of California. Exactly. I don't know why. It's, it's just a place we skirt around for traffic into Tahoe. But anyway, <laughs> I don't want to dis. It's, but it's so British. You know, when you kind of, you know, it's just like no disrespect, that it's a shit off. Um, it's like so British when you when you phone up someone from England and do you want to go to a party? Oh, really love to, but don't want to. Thanks. You know, it's yeah. just like we're so polite, but you know. Yeah, just say just say what you mean and be done with it. Move well, on. Well, whatever you can say, whatever you want, as long as you say, "Well, bless her." At the end, <laughs> you can bless say, him. "Oh, she's so fat, but bless her." Bless her. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. heart's in the right place. Heart's oh, right yeah, place. she's you know she's so, she's got halitosis and she looks like a swollen pug. Bless her. Bless her. Heart's yeah. in the right place. And heart's in the right place. Yeah. Bless her big right. cotton undies. <laughs> Welcome to Canada Day Three, Canada Day Week. This is Canada Day Week. This is done by our subscriber, our great supporter, Brian Roy. So thank you very much, Brian, thank for putting this week together. Yeah, we love it. Uh, and we don't know. You see, we're learning, and this is our second week of. We've done quite a lot of Canadian music, but Rush and other ones included. But but this is like a focused week number two uh, with some excellent notes, uh, and and we're going today for a, a double bill, aren't we? Double bill, like a are. double duck. We are. We're going for a double ducky. With double ducky. <laughs> du- honk, honk. <laughs> well, you- well, we're just going to lay it all on the line, and we're going to do two tracks from... You did. I got it. <laughs> you did. You've <laughs> laid it on the line, and we're going to lay it on the line and do a double ducky on this one. So yeah. this is um, Joni Mitchell, and uh, I am a total ignoranus on Joni Mitchell. I know she's important. Yep. Right? I know that. I know she did the album Blue. I know that. I know that the lead singer from the Muppets is uh fashioned after her. Oh, really? uh, the, well, I the girl. The lady. Oh look, I mean get the Muppet well, behind us. No, not Miss Piggy. <laughs> Jesus Christ <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Miss Piggy wasn't in the Muppets band. I uh, well look uh, we haven't done a reaction week on the Muppets band yet, so I don't Who's know. Who's the drummer from the Muppets? Animal, I know that. Who is it? Who's the? Who's it? Who's it? Who plays the piano? It looks like you, Elmo. 
No, the dog from the Muppets. Oh, the dog, yeah, with the big floor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. And the singer, um, I can't remember her name. It's something really cool. She looks just like Jodie, a young Jodie Mitchell. Oh, okay. You'll see behind us. It's oh, just like... Either. Either. Okay, okay. Good. Right, okay, good. That is the extent that I know. And now there's one more thing I know. What's that? She's Canadian. Ah, yeah, there you go. Yeah, yeah. And uh, I, I also know she she did a lot of stuff with uh, James Taylor, I think, if I remember correctly as well. So Were they... Um, were they a couple? Were they doing it? Doing it. Like doing it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so mature. Oh, my God. Um, yeah. Should we read the notes before we get into too much trouble? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah should we do that? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, so, so the first track we're going to do is called A Case of You. Uh, and actually, it's, it's a live from London in 1983. It's the version we're going to see. But anyway, so it's Joni Mitchell. And these are our notes. And thank you again for the notes. Joni Mitchell was born Roberta Joan Joni Anderson on November the 7th, 1943 in Fort McLeod, Alberta. Uh, drawing from folk, pop, rock, classical and jazz, Mitchell's songs often reflect on social and philosophical ideals, as well as her feelings about romance, womanhood, disillusionment and joy. She has received many accolades, including 10 Grammy Awards and induction into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame in 1997. Uh, Rolling Stone called her one of the greatest songwriters ever, and all music has stated when the dust settles, Joni Mitchell may stand as the most important and influential female recording, recording artist of the late 20th century. Mm. Mitchell wrote A Case of You in or before 1970. Um, as with many of, her, of the songs of her album Blue, it might have been inspired by with her relationship with Graham Nash. Oh, so she was doing it with Graham Nash. Okay, got it. It is also claimed that it is about Leonard Cohen. Well, I just... Mm. Google did James Taylor and Joni Mitchell do it? Yeah, and <laughs> what did you get? <laughs> yes, <laughs> yes. Oh, yes. yes. Okay. Um, uh, they, uh, their uh, relationship came to an end when Taylor uh, uh, rather unceremoniously dumped Mitchell in f in favour of Carly Simon. They were all doing it. Wow, well, it was, it was the nineteen seventies, wasn't it? They're laying it on the line, weren't they? So, yeah. They did. They did lay it on the line. They laid it on the line quite often. And it seems like this, this, it wasn't a folk circle. <laughs> it was something else. Uh -huh. it seemed, it seemed, I bet a nasty a little, on you? Oh, I bet a nasty little rash went round them all. That's you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. Excellent. Right. Well, should we do it? Should we check it out? I can't do wait. it. Do it. So, so this one is a case of you. A case of you in London. London. And then, um, oh yeah. By the way, people, ladies and gentlemen, we've got a new ending. Uh, music on the end. We, our, our outro, as they call it. Outro. Um, and it's basically a Hammond solo done by uh, Data from Star Trek. Now, I'm going to give a free T-shirt away to whoever can spot who did the music. Yep. Okay? So you've got to get the musician who did the outro music on our outro and put it in the comments down there. Chris... You're not allowed to the curator. You're not allowed. Uh, Rick Fairman, you're not allowed to join either because you know a lot about music. And <laughs> Sean, the other one, you're not allowed to know. You're not allowed to enter. Anyone, um, at the end, we've got another Johnny Mitchell, then listen to the outro music. If you know who wrote the music, put it down there, and uh, I'll put them in a randomizer, and then I'll DM you, and I'm going to send you out a Thamesman T-shirt because I'll be interested if anyone gets this. Yeah, it's a great track. So yeah, all right, all right. Anyway, so back to Joni Mitchell, a case of you. And uh, are you ready, sir? I am. Ah, uh, let's do it. Oh, three, two, one, go. This is a song called "I Could Drink a Case of You, Honey." <laughs> And still be on my feet. Just before our love got lost, you see. I am as constant as a northern star and I will sit Constantly in the darkness, where's that at? If you want me, I'll be in the bar 
on the back of a cartoon coaster in the blue TV screen light I drew a map of Canada oh Canada blue. and I sketched your face on it twice oh you're in my blood like holy wine you taste so bitter darling and so so sweet oh I could drink a kiss of you I would still be on my feet proper isn't she <clears throat> that, that's the first very first Joni Mitchell track I've sat through oh okay all right I loved it I absolutely I... loved it the um she I, I, I'm big into Cohen and Lou Reed and yeah. you know kind of the the poetry side and she's like the, she's up yeah there. exactly I thought is, is she's from that same sort of stable you know absolutely yeah. you know uh, like but, well well crafted lyrics poetry you know, and music you know fantastic lyrics that, lyrics that i i could never write and but also she seemed to be so full of warmth mm -hmm. and uh I, she, she seemed to be so relaxed with her with her phrasing and her singing as well yeah. and she she wasn't just you know she seemed to be just really just totally relaxed with her phrasing it was, and it, what's the instrument she's playing? The dulcimer is that the dulcimer she's playing? I think. I, th and, I uh, honestly just thought it was a guitar, but just like just laid uh, down, slightly different, yes, yeah, and open slightly. tuning or something. Yeah. And she's just you know just but, changing but the way she just got with her hands or picking it and, and yeah. playing it. It was 
it, it just had an amazing sound and a sort of and it brought a natural rhythm to it the way she sort of plucked and strung used it i think it's a song i need to go back and be on my own and good headphones and hear the studio version and sit down because i'm really highly interested in the lyrics yeah no exactly yeah no i mean it, yeah she obviously you can see why she was is such a you know sought after singer songwriter well she seems super authentic yeah. She's, um, you know, and 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 an absolute poet with it as well. So yeah, that was brilliant. That was really nice. That was a nice, really nice moment, shall we say? So, yeah, yeah. So we we do have a bonus, Journey. Yes. Sh- 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 so we even have notes to the bonus. Blue is the title song from Joni Mitchell's seventy-one album, the same name. The song is generally thought to be about James Taylor, with the line "Here is a song for you," yeah, being okay. directed to Taylor. As Sheila Weller states in her biography, Girls Like Us, it referenced to a drugs addict's needles and proffering a seashell to her lover, making it fairly clear that Blue is all about James. Oh, there you go. All right. Well, yeah, yeah. Okay. Right. Oh, I feel I feel like this is a huge rabbit hole I'm just opening up here with Joni Mitchell. If she could do that with that one track and... <clears throat> You know, and I know, I know. There's a whole story about her and Taylor, and um, this so this song so uh, you know vain. You th- you think it's written about you and all that stuff. I think they had a public falling out or arguing out through songs and stuff. I think there's a massive story to be told here. Right, 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 right. Okay, all right. Uh, so th- this this version is 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 apparently a fairly rare bit of uh, footage uh, from 1974. Her playing it live. Uh, and uh, so blue is what came out in seventy one, and that 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 a case of you that was also on this on the same blue album as well, wasn't it? So um, yes, what should we do all right, it? let's do it. Are you lined up? I'm all lined up. Are you ready, sir? Yeah, this is Joni Mitchell, Blue seventy four, three, two, one.
She has a great voice, doesn't she? She does. I've got to quickly, quickly also correct that song about about you. That was Carly Simon. That wasn't her. <laughs> <laughs> but she has got. She has got. Uh, she an amazing voice and may, uh, may, uh, also the amazing songwriting skills. So the way she structured all that is not your traditional first chorus. But it's she's more like. I like Leonard Cohen in a song. It's a story. It's a tale. It's a well, poem. a true artist, you know. It, it, rather than just a songwriter, she's a, a a real true artist. She seems to be painting with words and yeah, rhythms and, things. Yeah, absolutely. You know, for one second, I thought it, it reminded me of Kate Bush, or well, Kate Bush reminded me of her. Maybe the other way around in terms of chronologically, you know. And it's not just because she's a female singer songwriter. But because of the sort of uh, complexity of the songwriting and and the sort of phrasing of it, there was a moment in it, like about a third of the way through, I was going like, you know, that's that seems familiar in a good way, in a good way. Yeah, but then you've got Joni Mitchell, Cal King, Carly Simon, Kate Bush, Tori Amos, you know, and uh, you've got you've got all these great female songwriters. <clears throat> Do you think in uh do you think it's harder for a female artist to break to be to break forward uh, and be recognised to you know someone like a Leonard Cohen and uh, uh, um, a Lou Reed because you know they're just males and more aggressive? Do you think it's harder? That's a really good question. I've never really thought about that. I mean, you know, it, it, does the the world of music suffer from the same sort of patriarchy misogyny that exists? You know, does talent get judged on 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 your on your sex as opposed to because you know. I, I, I mean I, so many people you know uh, I, 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 do, do, does she get judged on her looks i mean because lou reed has no beauty he's probably one of the ugliest you know you know <laughs> souls out there but wrote uh, and he was he was a nasty you know he was a he was a very vicious person but he wrote um, uh, he wrote really strong music from that experience right. Right? right um um and he was never judged on his looks or his uh, his he was so rude to all the uh interviewers or whatever i wonder if females have a harder time because they get judged do they have to be into one category can they be it's is there a female today that is of similar ilk that you get to rec uh, recognize purely just on their songwriting and their talent and their, their sure, art? Right. absolutely yeah i mean yeah i mean there are some amazing singer songwriters out there now of course, of course i think it's harder for females i think it's harder for females in any category in well, any i think true. females have to work twice as hard to get to, to and probably get, get paid half, half as, as much half exactly that you know what i mean and, and get controlled by men in the industry and stuff like that so i mean it, you know and have to put up with sort of people judging them by look or, or yes. trying to make you know you know badly conceived passes at them because they you know whatever it may be yes so. absolutely so no it was just it was a it was an interest i just hope uh, you know you would have hoped that someone um as good as jenny mitchell is you know that she she got recognized purely because her i'm uh, the reason i brought this up that that song was so unique and so powerful and the lyrics were so good hopefully you know she is held up you know and judged on her music i mean, oh god yeah i mean it's jenny mitchell of course it is you know people i don't think there's any doubt about that in, in the you know, she's one of the greatest, you know. Yeah, but even then, with the with the record producers, then you know. Oh, I see what you mean. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, and the industry as it was probably more misogynistic then. Well, maybe. But you know, if you if yeah, maybe. Yeah. Anyway, anyway. Interesting stuff. I that we really that was definitely a good, good palate cleanse of the pair of them. You know, it was like it was beautiful music and beautifully phrased and put together so that was, that was do you remember on canada week one we did <coughs> we had well there was leonard cohen he's canadian then we had uh neil young he's canadian and now jenny mitchell and the, the, there was one word one word that kept coming through again and again and again and, and that's authentic that's true. canadian music is authentic i mean yeah. we were doing australian music and that that's that's just that's just great pub rock you know, and that I suppose is authentic. It's honest. That's honest, but this yeah. is authentic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's true. Yeah, yeah. Now, now, tell me, is was? Now, this is a stupid question, but was James Taylor Canadian? I, I've got no idea. Let's look up. Was James Taylor or is he Canadian? Uh, born in Hamilton. Okay. Yeah. So he is. Yeah, yeah he's Canadian. Go. Yeah. So there you go. 
You see, so, I think I could I could learn a lot more about James Taylor as well. You know, I mean, there is a certain cliche about some of James Taylor's songs and things like that. But I have also heard some stuff, which is, again, singer-songwriter, which sums up a moment, a mood, uh, has a feeling to it. Um, and I think that's something I could learn some more about, I reckon. probably. You know, um, there's <clears throat> nothing wrong in saying, knowing what you don't know. Yeah. yeah. I know nothing about uh, James Taylor. I know nothing about Joni Mitchell. And I really do feel it's, it's about time that uh, maybe a patient um, – came forward and wrote us a week on either one or the other because I think there's a huge wealth and story and catalogue. Oh, yeah, characters. huge stories behind those. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. So, she laid it on yeah. the line. Laid it on the line. It was laid groovy, it man. Line. She really did. All right. <laughs> well, so we're waiting for someone to step forward now and contact us on the email below yep. with your whole Joni Mitchell week or your James Taylor week because, uh, you know, obviously two ignoramuses here need, uh, need educating. Yeah. yeah remember uh music at the end if you get the artist um uh we'll put you in on we're gonna uh, dm you if you get the t-shirt um because i'd be really interested if anyone gets that yeah exactly great track excellent well like subscribe and you'll get notified about other things coming up check us out on patreon instagram blah 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 blah, blah. <laughs> very professional all right mate that's <laughs> See you, uh, see you tomorrow for day four of Canada it? Week. I think it's it day four, yeah. Yeah, I think it's tomorrow. Yeah. <laughs> on the ball. Let, let, me, let me check, shall I? Shall I just check? Always on the ball. Yeah, it is day four. Yeah, okay, yeah. <laughs> All right. See you see for you day later. four. Ciao.